Thanks for joining us first at 10. I'm Lauren Taylor. Bombshell allegations coming from President Donald Trump this morning. Now, did President Obama order wiretaps during Trump's campaign? A former teacher accused of crimes involving a student turned himself in today in Danville. We first told you last night that Jonathan Good was indicted on charges of taking indecent liberties with a student at Westover Christian Academy. The 38-year-old is accused of sending inappropriate text messages to the 16-year-old and engaging in illegal physical contact on school property. Now, you can't go to a big game without some really cool swag. Well, John Kutchko, he joins us live from Houston, Texas, where people are grabbing jerseys and hats right before kickoff. Hey, John, good to see you. And I'm Lauren Taylor. Tonight, we're live from the Virginia Tech campus for the largest on-campus Relay for Life event in the world. Tonight, there's going to be over 10,000 Hokies out here raising money for cancer research, and they're hoping to raise more than a half a million dollars tonight alone. Now to an update on the murder of a missing mother here in Roanoke. Today, the Franklin County Sheriff's Office confirms Brittany Freeney was murdered. The 30-year-old mother was reported missing on May 2nd. Her body was found along Murray Knob Road by utility workers the next day. WFXR's Kristen Escal spoke with county leaders today, and Kristen, they're getting a lot of feedback on that idea. Trucks, ambulances, and even a medical helicopter descended on the campus of Virginia Tech this evening, but luckily there wasn't a real emergency. Yeah. Hey, John, did that rain we got today, did that help at all with the battling of the fire? And I'm Lauren Taylor. Police of Virginia Tech are investigating five recent cases of sexual assault involving students. Update in Lynchburg to a burglary case we first told you about last night. Now take a look at your screen. These are the first images we're seeing of the suspects. Police are searching for multiple guys who they say burglarized a local Sprint store. Lots of volunteers braved the chilly weather this morning to help make a church more accessible for its handicapped members. I'm in downtown Roanoke on Wells Avenue and I am in the middle of banter going back and forth between Donald Trump supporters and Hillary Clinton supporters. Take a look at this right over here. Police tell me that they were chasing this guy up and down 581, both north and south in both directions. He finally got off at the Orange Avenue exit. He came down here to Orange and 12th, and that's where he crashed into a bunch of cars in front of this home. If you take a look behind me, this is still an active scene. Becky Travell, police have identified the man who was killed as 26-year-old Jermaine Lynn Black. The incident took place right here behind me at Monsters Bar and Grill just before 3 this morning. Investigators found that man had his eyes off the road for 12.6 seconds. And just to give you an idea of what that looks like, we're going to go ahead and break it down for you. If you're going 55 miles an hour and you take your eye off the road for three seconds, you've traveled 100 yards. That's the length of an entire football field. This driver had his eyes off the road for the length of four football fields combined. The crime tape is gone after the early Sunday morning shooting that left one man dead and 10 others injured. It didn't surprise me one bit when I heard about it. I was not surprised. People living behind Monsters Bar and Grill off Orange Avenue say they're fed up with the place and the trouble it brings to their neighborhood. Drug deals go on down there all the time. Um, so many people carry guns down there. I just, like I told you, I, I'd give anything if they would tear it down. Dolores Johnson, who didn't want to show her face on camera, lives down the road. And she says the people who frequent the bar, especially on the weekends, constantly cause problems outside her home. Johnson says after patrons are done drinking, they'll walk along the road out front of her house, making her feel unsafe. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I've actually called the police on them, but they never come. Other neighbors say they've witnessed all kinds of trouble, including fights in the streets and people doing drugs in their cars. And with many unanswered questions about the investigation, Johnson is concerned. It's scary. You know, like I said, I live alone. I, I, I don't like it. She wants to see the bar torn down and wants either a convenience store or just a parking lot in its place. Anything but a bar. It, it's just a... I don't know why it's a bad place for a bar, but it is. Police say they want the community to be aware and alert as they continue to investigate. In Roanoke, Lauren Taylor, WFXR News. Put yourself all day, please. After years of anticipation, the pork belly. Put up. The wait and is finally sorry. over. Noah! There you go, Noah, you enjoy. A new culinary mission has landed on the drill field at Virginia Tech. It's really good. Two distinct uh, menus on two different trucks. The grill field is uh, featuring Latin infused items. As far as the periodic table, that's kind of a Thai based, Thai infused food selections that you're going to see um, over there. 
their Virginia Tech's new food trucks. And for Jaquan Scott and other staffers. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm salivating. I can't wait. It's the best way to start a new school year. I think it's marvelous that Virginia Tech gets a food truck, two food trucks of their own, and I had to come try it before all the students got to. Because it's all the buzz around campus. So I was really excited throughout the su summer, and now that it's here, I'm really happy. That Most of the items are priced. Thank you. Around five bucks. I got the chicken and the pork belly. Which students like wow. Jason and Sarah enjoy because the trucks are open for both lunch and dinner. Ready? <gasps> One, two, three. <sighs> Mm. And those long lines, well, those were expected. They'll be right out, okay? Thank you. It's all a part of the food truck adventure. And if you like tacos, noodles, meats, or veggies, there's something on the menu for everyone. I recommend everyone come and try it. <laughs> In Blacksburg, Lauren Taylor, WFXR News.